Hey, so this is day three of my social workout challenge. It seems like a struggle because I don't really see that I am making much improvement, but I know it's like a workout, just like uh, how I won't get a six pack in a few days. It's kind of the same thing with developing social skills. Uh, when I talk, I still worry about talking too slow or, or sounding insecure. I think uh, the best way to combat that fear is to not fight or control that fear. So I shouldn't make an effort to, in a sense, kind of put on a mask and try to act fast and be confident or talk fast and sound confident. So that means that I shouldn't fight or control my pace of voice even if I fear that it might be too slow. At first, when uh, I was in school, I was worried about being slow and insecure because I didn't want to be a loner or get made fun of. But now, the only reason why I care about it being slow and insecure is because that fear or that struggle of mine has been preventing me from becoming financially independent. Even when I trade stocks, even though I don't talk to people, but there is a, a, an internal dialogue with myself. I have to make decisions whether to enter or exit a trade. And I have to be confident about those decisions. If I'm not confident or I think uh, that I might be too slow and sometimes I do think and act too slow and there's only a certain window of opportunity to enter a trade and then if I miss that opportunity it'll be like I'm chasing and if I chase it usually ends up and the loss. So even being my fear of being slow and insecure, it affects my trading too. So even though I'm trying to improve my social skills uh, by overcoming this fear of being slow and insecure, It'll also, it should improve my trading because uh, I am sensitized to the fear of being slow and insecure. So that means I've been putting myself in a continuous state of fear and tension or the continuous state of being slow and insecure. And then after a while, I feel that fear more intensely, so that's what I mean by I am sensitized to my fear of being slow and insecure. And so I want to desensitize myself now to that fear. So I have been running away from it. The way I put myself in that continuous cycle of fear is that I in a sense, like I try to put on a mask and try to act fast and be confident, but I'm desperately trying to hide or run away from the fear of being slow and insecure. So I need to take off the mask, expose my fear, and uh, break the continuous cycle of fear. So the way that I'll do that is I won't trigger my fight or flight response. The fight or flight response, it's similar to an animal in the jungle or a prey 
being hunted by the predator. So if there is like some kind of a monkey or something in the tree, like running away from a jaguar, the, the fight or flight response will be triggered in the animal. And so it'll, adrenaline will be released and it'll be, feel anxiety or stress and tension. And that'll prepare the prey to either fight the predator if it thinks it can take it on or to run away. And so that's a healthy fear. But the mind, it doesn't know the difference. And our nervous system, it doesn't know the difference between a real or imaginary predator. And so in this sense, I have created like an imaginary predator, the fear of being slow and insecure. I have been unnecessarily triggering my fight or flight response uh, by like trying to fight my slow self and insecure self by trying to talk fast and act confident. So I'll break that cycle of continuous fear. I'll stop treating my slow self like a predator and this way I will desensitize myself. Once I stop putting myself in the fight or flight response, I'll fear less being slow and insecure. And as a result, I should start naturally being fast and confident because I will experience less symptoms of anxiety because if when I am sensitized to the fear of being slow and insecure I'll feel a strong sensation of anxiety sometimes that causes me to blank out or you know like even kind of clench my teeth and talk like this or stuff like that so I'll just let go of my fear. I don't try to fight it or control it. And I'll desensitize myself. And as a result, I should be fast, start to be fast and confident. But this is like a social workout. So in these upcoming videos, now I won't try to make an effort to be fast and confident. I think it's better to just tackle the fear head on and realize this is not a predator. I'm not in any real danger. So even if I think I'm too slow and insecure, I'll just let myself be that way. So I won't trigger my fight or flight response. And I'll break the cycle of fear and tension and I'll desensitize myself.